Hello, my friends. I'm BJ. I'm the Dean of Trinity Cathedral in Cleveland, Ohio. Blessings to you on Earth Day. Today is Thursday, April 22nd. And though we're going to celebrate Earth Day this coming Sunday on our with our usual Sunday liturgy, today is the day itself. A day to be particularly aware. I think as Christians, we should be aware of the gift of creation every day. But today is one that in our in our culture, in our country, we, we note it a little bit more explicitly. Well, we've begun, as you know, uh, uh, having questions of the week. And last week, uh, the question was, what one social justice initiative, if you had to choose one, that's always the hardest part, isn't it? Choosing one. But if you had to choose one, what would it be? One to focus on for the rest of your life. Uh, and we've received some answers. I hope we continue to receive a whole lot more. Remember the questions of the week. They're available. Um, they're all available at any time. So you can go in and if you've missed a few weeks, go in and go click, clack, click, click, knock them all out. Or if, if you, uh, there's only one, if you haven't answered the justice question, go back. Um, but I want to share with you a number of answers. A handful of people said that, some, that creation care, we all use different language, uh, is the most important thing that they would want to deal with. Uh, and I'll read just a few of those with you. One, Gail Smith said, creation care, creation care. Paul Hergesell said, our treasurer said, access to healthy food. You can't get far en without enough to eat. Absolutely true. Uh, and then Linda Lee, who's a member of our vestry, uh, preserving fresh, clean water for all the inhabit inhabitants of the earth, including all the growing things. This is especially a need among the poor of the world. So just looking at those three examples, we see not only a love of the created world, but a play, uh, seeing the deep connections of, of justice and economics and human life all weaving together through this lens of creation care. We're going to be doing something that is, uh, of course, all great things are deceptively simple. We're planting two trees. One is going to be planted at Trinity's urban, urban uh, at the urban farm. One's going to be planted here on the Trinity campus in observation of uh, uh, in gratitude for the creation that we've been given. When we do things like that, it's always a joy to to plant a tree. It's always a wonderful thing, and and that's a whole other story about about Cleveland and uh, how we've lost our canopy and we're working to build it back. That that would make a great forum for another time. But in that simple act of nurturing, of co-creation, of planting and raising up, it's about awareness, but it's also and it's about beauty and it's about God's provision for all of us. When we do that. It's an act of faith. It's an act of hope. And ultimately, it's an act of love. I'm so grateful to be a part of this community. I'm so grateful for the ways that we learn to love one another and we learn to love the creation that God has given us. We, of course, it comes pretty naturally. I ask that you join me in prayer as we honor all that. God be with you. Loving God, we offer thanksgiving for the many ways that you speak to us through creation, that you speak to us as a doctor, as a healer, as a teacher, as a guide. Help us to, joy, to find joy and delight in the, in the created world. Help us to protect and preserve it so that all may receive the abundance of this bounty. Help us to confess where we have fallen short. Help us to live lightly. Help us to preserve. Help us to love, to love what we have and not desire more than we need. Amen. Blessings to each and every one of you, and thank you for watching.